Our, our fifth presenter today, or our fifth finalist, um, will be Leroy Transfeld. And Leroy, I would welcome you to the podium, please. And everyone says? Leroy. Tihei Moriora, Tenakoto, Tenakoto, Tenakoto Katoa. That's a, a, a greeting in Maori. Uh, normally, to say hello in Maori, you'd say Kiora. So you guys can say it. Kiora. Kiora. All right. So uh, as you can tell, uh, uh, so Maori are the natives of New Zealand, and uh, that's why I was born and raised. And uh, now I live in Utah. And uh, <laughs> So, so it's, a, it's a little distance away. But uh, um, so people are watching this from New Zealand, so I'd like to say hi to those guys. Um, uh, so I've been sculpting for uh, quite a long time, since I was a little kid. Um, uh, <clears throat> I have uh, a lot of training in sculpture. I, w I went to, uh, for my formal training, I went to BYU Hawaii. And uh, it was a tremendous place to go to, not only because they had a good program there for figure sculpture, uh, they had a good professor, Jan Fisher, and uh, I was able to uh, learn even more about Polynesian culture. And we sculpted Polynesian figures, and we did Polynesian uh, legends. And, uh, and, and while I was there, I got a job working at uh, the Polynesian Cultural Center, which is right next door to the university, and I worked in the carving hut there. And so I would carve, and we would explain uh, Polyne Polynesian legends to the tourists every day. So I got my, uh, a good education there. Then after that, I went back to New Zealand for a little bit, taught at a Māori art school there. And then we moved to Utah with my family. And so I opened up a, a, a studio there. And I've, had a, I've done a lot of commissions uh, over the years. One, uh, the ones in particular that are memorable is I, I have done some veterans memorials before, uh, just f local ones for the cities there. And I've got to, uh, not only was it fun to do the uh, commissions, but it was fun because I got to uh, know the veterans. And they uh, became my friends, and then they would tell me some war stories. Uh, unfortunately, a lot, uh, pretty much all of them are, are gone now. And uh, so I had a, a lot of uh, a fun and experience with uh, um, veterans memorials. I actually have an, uh, already have an association with uh, the World War I memorial that is going up. So uh, a couple of years ago, they put out a call. The U.S. Mint put out a call for a competition to do a coin to commemorate World War I. And uh, some of the surcharges would go to pay for the World War I memorial that is going up, and my design won. And so uh, last November, I went to uh, Philadelphia to the U.S. Mint there for the first strike ceremony, and uh, that was a, a really uh, fulfilling experience to be there and to have this coin created, because I'd never done a coin before, uh, coin created uh, to honor uh, World War I veterans. And uh, so while I was there, in November is when the, the call came out for a design competition. So you can see I was really excited when I found out about this. It wasn't just, uh, oh yeah, this looks like a good one. It was like, this is the one. Because of all my experience, uh, both in a cultural, uh, my experience as a sculptor, and then also my experience uh, with veterans. And uh, so I was... Uh, Extremely excited, uh, to say the least, to be able to um, come up with a design. It wasn't easy. So uh, the first thing I did, actually it was the day after the first strike ceremony in Philadelphia. Uh, my wife and I traveled to uh, Washington, D.C. and for, This is for the first time for me. And we went, uh, I went straight to the museum to look at the grounds. Let's see if this works. No. Okay. So I went uh, to the museum to look at the grounds because we had to choose a location. 
Uh, so I walked around the grounds and um, I identified uh, this area along here as being ideal, uh, mainly because this side is a lot more quiet. Uh, it's a nice long area. Uh, you've got the walkway and the water there. And uh, so that is the area I, I identified that I was going to see what I could come up with. Uh, so I took some photos. I didn't know what I was going to put there. I took some photos, so just to let you know the area that uh, I was interested in. And uh, so uh, I'm just going to show you the design, and then I'll, I'll talk about how I uh, came about uh, the design. So this is a, it's a wall. On one side is a relief sculpture, and then a, the large lettering here. And it's called the Wall of Legends because on the sculpturing, the relief sculpturing, will be different uh, Native American legends. And uh, so you can see the location there. And uh, on the writing, it says, a wall to inspire and celebrate the deep cultural culture of Native peoples who have served. An integral part of all Native peoples is the many legends handed down through the centuries. These legends connect and anchor each generation in the history and culture of the past. With this wall, the depictions will help tell the story of how and why Native people serve and sacrifice a way to honor their memory. So um, I went home, and because I'm a sculptor, the first thing I did was I made a model. So uh, I made a model of the path, and then I uh, built up in, with clay how I thought the memorial should look. And if you look there, that's a person, that's a person there. So it's not very tall, it's like about seven and a half feet tall. And uh, I'll sh I divided the wall, the wall is actually in five different sections. I was looking at this picture, of uh, this is a model of the museum, and uh, it has strong horizontal lines in it. Uh, with uh, these deep shadows. And so I tried to uh, repeat that in my design. So uh, if, you, if you count them, there's five different sections. And, uh, so I, and I tried to, they're actually uh, staggered, so, so each section doesn't quite line up, so, uh, and that helps to create the shadows. And then, uh, of course, you have the, the lettering on this side, and then I curved it here. So I, I was trying to make a design that uh, was in harmony with the building. I mean, when I looked at this, it almost reminded me of the front of the building, when I say the front where the big uh, circle is. And uh, so this would be the sculpture. It would, wouldn't be uh, one legend, it would be lots of different legends. I'll read this other part of my description. The wall is designed, oh no. The legends depicted on the wall will be centered around themes of bravery, sacrifice, struggle, life and death, loved ones lost, and other themes that would be appropriate to sharing a unique cultural message of a memorial for Native Americans. The specific research will be done to find common themes, stories that will be inclusive of the many cultures and tribes represented. So, uh, and then, um, and. So I would uh, do a lot of research and have uh, people who are, uh, know a lot more about it than me uh, uh, consult to come up with legends that I think would be appropriate. And then uh, this would be very helpful. This is from the competition manual. This is a, a graphic showing the different elements. So in the legends, uh, I would uh, find a way to include that. The, the cool thing about if you use uh, legends is they can have more than one meaning. So within uh, the legend, it could, it could have, uh, 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 say, it could mean uh, different things to different people. And then, um, of course, if you look at the outside of the building, it has this textured rock. And then uh, I was told today, as it gets, it's more textured down here and it gets smoother as it goes further up. I'd like to use some of that texture in the wall itself too. So uh, 
it's, I, I call it a wall of legends. It should be really called something like a monument of legends uh, because uh, the whole piece is more like a sculpture. So it's a sculpture within a sculpture. So you, you have uh, you know, sculptures here, but the whole thing will be designed and, and uh, even the texture where it's smooth, the way it is, it's divided up will uh, have a presence and will be an art piece in itself. And these are just some depictions of what it might look like. So the uh, relief sculptures are not that big. They're long, but not that big. And they're meant to be so uh, someone can take it in at eye level. And there's that one there. And then, I've, uh, as you can see, that there's a little shelf created on this side. There's also a one created on the other end. And uh, these will be for uh, people if they want to put uh, tokens or flowers of remembrance. So that's basically my design. I had a really uh, good, uh, it, w it was fun to try and come up with a design, but very challenging. So thank you very much. Thank you. Are there any questions? Okay, let me, thank you.